Uh, yeah, this is the first year I've been asked to judge the AMP Awards, which is the Australian Music Prize. Loosely based on the English Mercury Prize and everybody listens, all of the judges that is, listen to every record that is submitted. They were interested in expanding the breadth of music critics on the panel and I, I suppose it also helped that I'm female. I thought, yeah, this is, this is exactly mm. what the aria should be and has never been, which is a level playing field for all and a really sensible way of critiquing uh, music. It really is just judging on the, based on the merits of the music rather than the politics of the record companies or who was nice to who. And so I started getting records and I started getting more records and there was an avalanche of records. I crammed so much listening in, in a short space of time and a lot of records that end up being your favourites take 10 or 15 listens to get into. So. Well, not all of the judges listen to all of the records for, for practical reasons and because there are so many releases. The records are split up. They, they tend to break you up into groups <coughs> and rotate the groups so you're actually maybe with four or five or six other people you get sent five um, records. We just in our own time listen to them and correspond with each other and then we send either a yes or a no back to Scott and then from that we establish a long list. You can contest the decision if you particularly loved a record and you felt that the judges in your team just didn't quite get it. You can uh, petition to have it heard by other judges. It's good because it, it means that people's tastes don't come into it so much. You know, you, you know, there's always going to be people that like more, certain music more than other types of music. Judging something within its genre. So you may not be a massive jazz fan, but is this a good jazz record? Is it a good record? It's as fair as it can probably be, I reckon. Are the songs good? Does it have a nice flow? Um, if there isn't a kind of narrative arc, is it just a really impressive collection of songs? It was simply about, did this band, did this artist make a good record and how does it stand up to all of the other records that have been submitted that year? You know, like sometimes you get uh, somebody that might have had a really big hit, but on that album, the rest of the album's not as strong as what the single was, so people made me, they tend to judge it as a whole piece of work. From that long list, once again, a whittling process takes place and a short list appears at which point we all gather around in a room and fight it out for who we think is the best record of the year. It's a lot more hardcore from what I've heard in the year when it's down to the short list because um, you know, it can get a bit heated apparently. I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely passionate. There's no question that people go in there and fight for what they, for what they love. And I love that. Prize that is in dollar value as opposed to a little bit of thing that you stick on your uh, mantelpiece is, I think, infinitely more valuable to artists. This last year, my, dis my absolute um, favourite record was the, um, was the winner, the Lisa Mitchell record. There was a little bit of playing off of her versus Sarah Blasco, and as far as I'm concerned, they're two completely separate records, two completely different records, but there were some people who thought that, you know, women's music is a genre unto itself believe it or not. When you walk into that room to make those judgments that all of those preconceptions, all of those biases are left at the door. And if they haven't been left at the door, then there's someone in that room that's gonna thrash them out of you. And that's what it's all about. It's about the music.